Welcome back everyone and in this question we have two concentric spherical shells having radius r and k radius 2r. The outer shell is grounded and the inner one is given a charge of plus q. A small particle having a mass m and charge minus q enters the outer shell through a small hole in it. The speed of the charge entering the shell was u and its Initial line of motion was at a distance of a from the center. We have to find the radius of curvature of the path of the particle immediately after it enters the shell. Okay, so the particle just entered the sphere and its speed was u and we have to find the radius of curvature of the path of the particle just after it entered and for that we need the net force on this particle. Now as the particle is inside the outer shell, the electric field due to the outer shell on the charge would be just zero. Okay, and the electric field due to this charge Q will be in this direction towards the center of this inner shell and let's say its magnitude was F. So the electric field due to this shell at this point will be KQ divided by 2R whole squared and if you multiply this with the charge of the particle we'll get the force on it. So now let's say this angle over here is theta. Now A was given to be root 2R. So so from this right triangle we can say sine theta equals which means theta comes out to be 45 degrees. Now this uh, f vector will have a normal component and a tangential component. So the normal component of f is going to be f sine theta. So as we have the normal force now, the normal acceleration is simply going to be the force divided by the mass. So now, so the radius of curvature of the path of the particle at this instant will be the speed squared divided by the normal acceleration. And if you solve it, you'll get this value. Now in question two, they want us to find the speed with which the particle will hit the inner sphere. So now as we have to find the speed of the particle when it hits the inner sphere, we have to conserve energy. So we can say ui plus ki equals uf plus kf. Okay, so let's find out ui. Now it was given that the outer shell was grounded, which means the potential uh, at this so the potential contribution due to this outer shell will be zero and the potential due to this inner shell at this point at a distance of 2r from it is going to be kq divided by 2r and if I multiply it with the charge of the particle which is minus q I'll get ui and the initial kinetic energy of the particle is simply half mu squared. Finally the particle it will hit the surface of the sphere somewhere over here and at this point the potential con potential due to this inner shell will be kq divided by r. So the potential energy would be this times the charge. Kinetic energy at this point is half m v squared. And after solving this equation, we'll get the speed of the particle when it is about to hit the inner shell as this particular value. So that was it for this video guys. If you have any doubts, you can comment down below. Do like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. And thanks for watching.